Hello again, this is our next segment in our inventor series. Today we're actually for this piece we're going to be showing you how to assign basic dimensions and how to um, put information and annotations on an inventor drawing file. Now we've already got the file created, we created it in segment one of this. I'm um, looking at sheet one which is our assembled view with all the parts in it. Sheet two is our wheel. Sheet three is our support structure. Sheet four is our plate structure. Sheet five is the bushing and sheet six is our axle. So we're going to begin with the assembly. Uh, first thing we want to do with our assembly is we want to make a parts list or a call out. Now for this we need to balloon this. We need to give it some information. Well I've got this, the view port selected and we don't want to add or remove any parts. Now, placement-wise, let's go ahead and look at this guy. Um, we've got parts that we need to make sure we note, like the axle here, the bushing there, both support structures, the wheel, and the top plate. Placement, now, we want to do it around the part. I'm really not a believer in having them in a straight line. It gets really confusing sometimes. So I'm going to open this up and try to spread these out a wee bit. Um, I'm just going to place them. Oh, kind of tight to the project, but around it. So I'm just going to click right there, and it's automatically going to place it. Looks like they're all in pretty good locations. If I want, I can move them later. But for right now, we're just simply going to tell it to apply, and it's automatically going to number them for us and place them. So there's my parts. Part one, part two, part three. Like I said, I can pick on a part and place it. Or no, oh, come on. You're supposed to let me do this. You should be able to pick on an assembly and move it. Or uh, Terminator and move it so it points more accurate more accurately at the part. Um, it looks like this one's kind of being a waste for us. There it goes. So I can move these around, get a better placement on it. Sometimes it's just a little temperamental. Um, like I said, in this one, some of them are in little odd locations. We want to make sure they are clear what part they're pointing at and where that part is located in space. So now that I've got them set on it, like this one right here, I don't know that I want it out there. I want it on the part so it's a bullet and not an arrow. Um, again, this one down here on the wheel, pretty sure we want that as a bullet, not an arrow, so it's very clear on what part we're actually pointing at. Same with the axle piece right here. So we've got those placed. Now we need to have a parts list. So I cl click on the parts list. It'll automatically generate it. We've got source already selected from our drawing here. We're going to drag it up here, place it in the top right-hand corner of our area. It assigns the project names, it tells us the quantities, the item numbers. We can add the descriptions and things in a little bit, but for right now, that's all we need for this one.